We're going to start by slicing up our mushrooms. And we need to marinate this about 30 minutes. So we got to do this first. So our mushrooms go in. And I'm going to use the whole case. But you can use half. I'm going to add a white onion. Sliced. And here in my mortar pestle I have garlic, the triple seeds, and we're going to mash this up and grind it to a paste. I'm going to add a sofrito blend mix, about a teaspoon. If you can't find this, it's alright, you don't have to use it. Once you blend it into a paste, this is how it's going to look, and we're going to add it to the mushrooms. Super good, smells so bomb and so fragrant. I'm gonna add liquid smoke. I'm using mesquite and hickory. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon or just like a couple of drops. Not too much, this can go a long way. It's very strong. So a fourth of a teaspoon is perfect. Just a couple of drops and not really much of a measure. I'm gonna add some taco seasoning. And I like to use Taco Street. It has good ingredients. I'm gonna add some sage. I'm also gonna add some marjoram. These spices are my favorite. And now I'm gonna combine this together. Fill my container and allow to marinate 30 minutes. Guys, I am back with another video. And on today's video, it's gonna be another Mexican platter that you are going to enjoy. Today's recipe is going to be delicious mushroom steak tacos and an amazing strawberry horchata. So let's get right into it, guys. I'm gonna start with the strawberry horchata. And here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. Okay, so into a blender, I wanna add four cups of water. I'm gonna add two cups of rice. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon and I'm going to use ground cinnamon because that's all I have. Now I'm going to blend this. The next thing that we want to do is strain the rice mixture. So I'm going to strain it slowly. So we strain the rice out. Okay, so our rice water is ready or rice milk. I'm going to add this to the blender. We have here 226 grams of strawberries, two cups of soy milk, and here I have one cup of coconut sugar. If you don't have coconut sugar, you can use date sugar or just regular vegan sugar. It's fine. Coconut sugar is less on the sweetness side, so I like to add a good amount. Now I'm going to blend this and I'll meet you back. So I blended the horchata with the strawberries and the sugar and oh my goodness, it tastes so good. Let me show you. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to store it. And I'll show you how I'm going to store it. It's super easy. Just get a jar of your choice. I'm going to use this jar. We add the strawberries in and we add the strawberry horchata. So we have the strawberries here. I already cut them for you. So we don't waste any time and we're just gonna add them into here. Oh, that's enough. I'm gonna add the horchata carefully. Now this is really lovely. It tastes like a really light strawberry milkshake. And then we have our serving one that we're going to use for our for ourselves and I don't want any ice I don't even have ice here you go a nice beautiful horchata mm, so good all right let's start on the tacos okay so before we make our tacos we're going to make a delicious salsa to go with our tacos so I love to make a fresh pico de gallo salsa, and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. <laughs> so here I have three tomatoes, a half an onion, 
three serrano peppers. Now, if it's too spicy for you and you're not a spicy person, you can use half of one or two, depending on your limit. I'm going to go ahead and use three because I want to spice up my life. Into a food processor, we're going to add the ingredients. So I want to start with the hard stuff first. The hard stuff is going to go at the bottom. The softer vegetables are going to go at the top. So I'm going to add my onion. So we add the serranos. Then I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm also going to add cilantro, a nice handful, some lime juice. Essentially, this is like a pico de gallo, but instead of chopping it up into little pieces, you're going to blend it like a salsa. It's amazing. I love this salsa. This is my go-to go salsa. It's super fast to do because you're not doing any cooking. It's just a nice raw, fresh salsa. I'm going to add a little bit of Himalayan salt. salt. I like Himalayan salt because it's like a coarse salt. You can use any type of salt and blend my salsa. And I'm going to pause every few seconds so I don't overblend my salsa. All right, so I have my skillet here nice and hot. I have some veggies here. I'm grilling up a jalapeno, una cebollita, and a poblano pepper to enjoy my tacos even more. So here I have my marinated mushrooms, and they smell so delicious and fragrant. So this amount is enough for two people or for like three days. So it just depends on how your situation is, but it's so delicious. The last thing I'm gonna do to my mushrooms is to add a little salt. But you definitely don't have to. I'm just gonna add some salt here. I'm gonna allow my mushrooms to grill five minutes on each side. I want them to get nice and seared, but not burnt. Oh my goodness, the smell is so amazing, guys. Mushrooms are so delicious. They're a great source of protein, a great source of B12. They have a lot of fiber and different nutrients. They also have anti-inflammatory properties, so they're super healthy and super medicinal. They not only satisfy your meaty cravings, but they also make you better they heal you from any inflammation they are also taking care of you they're a great source of probiotics because they're a nice little fungus so they feed your gut bacteria it's a lovely lovely ingredient and i enjoy mushrooms just as much as i enjoy tofu so i'll meet you back All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for. You have been waiting for me to turn into a tomato because I'm about to eat some tacos that are spicy. <laughs> Here's our amazing platter. Of course, Mexican style. Like always, gotta keep it Mexican. Mm. I gotta try the beans first. I made these beans this week. I forgot to film it though. Sorry about that. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. It's good. Mm-hmm. And I expected it to be a lot spicier, but it's actually a really good temperature. Wow.
Oh my god, guys. Mm -hmm. This is so enjoyable. I don't care what you are, vegetarian, meat eater, anything. You would love this. Unless you're a mushroom hater. Which, I do know some people that do not like mushrooms. And you can try tofu. Mm. Therapists say that if you have like bipolar disorders, or you have anger management, that good to have spicy food in your life. It definitely calms you down. I'm not bipolar or, or, or have anger problems, but hey, it's just a detail I kind of know. Mm. Oh my god, bomb. And I definitely don't have the habit to eat and drink. But if you want to eat and drink, cool yourself down, you can have your strawberry or chata. Mm. This, top of the notch, guys. Top of the notch. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. The more you let it sit, the more it the strawberries come out and oh my goodness the strawberries are literally making this horchata more sweet wow so yummy guys thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like subscribe and stick around for the next one bye